What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a quick video in that I'm going to kind of go through a little bit of maintenance that you want to do on your laptop. Usually on, uh, I try to do mine every four to six month basis because it's actually pretty easy, pretty simple. It's mainly just clearing out the fans. Uh, a lot of your laptops uh, will have very, very small vents at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but they are very, very small vents. And you can see in this one, I'll kind of get a video of it up. As, well, as I flip this over, uh, you can just see how you'll get some dust around here that you can easily wipe out and blow out. Uh, two things you'll need, well, three things, screwdriver for most most business class laptops. This is a ThinkPad, which they're pretty easy to get into. Most computers you can get into the bottom pretty easily without any type of difficulty. Some type of rag and then some type of compressed air if you have that or some, I'm not gonna demonstrate that on here. Uh, mainly because I don't have it, uh, but some type of compressed air. Same thing applies to your desktop. Desktops get a little bit dirtier, especially if you have more fans in them, but it also depends on what type of case you have. So let's jump in, get the back off this, and just go through a quick maintenance. So if you look here at the bottom, most laptops are all generally a little bit similar in that uh, there will be these screws here. These are captive screws, which basically means when you take them off, they actually stay in the laptop. Uh, a lot of laptops are doing that now, so that's uh, that's a nice feature. Fans in it, most laptops do, unless you get like a big beefy gaming laptop. So you just undo all these. Uh, each computer is a little different, so uh, if you go to their website, generally they'll have some type of manual on how to take these off. This one you kind of have to pry off, and it's kind of a little bit of a hassle to do. Also make sure it's turned off. It's pretty common sense, but uh, this one you just pop it off. You gotta be careful because not all these are undone. This applies to most every modern ThinkPad right now. So look at the bottom of this. You can probably see where the dust is at. So we'll just take them wipe off. Pretty simple. That same thing on the other side. Same thing over there, so you just wipe it off. Probably shouldn't do it over your laptop, but, uh, but if you see here, everything looks pretty clean in here. But you can just take some compressed air and actually blow into there to clean it off. There's, so really in here, there's not a whole lot of dust actually in here on the fans. Uh, but you just clean up, clean around there. I have a little bit of gunk right here on the side, so just... Do that. Ideally, you should probably have an anti-static wrist thing on, but I don't. I don't do that. And that's it. But as you can see, it actually this computer is actually pretty simple because you can actually get in here, change the battery pretty easily. Got your two uh, NVMe drives that you can change. You can change basically just about anything you want in here. So it's a pretty pretty good setup. So that's it. Then put it back on. Uh, just make sure you wipe. Wipe everything off real good because you can see there's this really really fine mesh in here uh, so that gets clogged pretty easily and you wouldn't think that that would really restrict airflow but it does uh, I recently just did this so it's really not that dirty uh, you can also check this one exhaust through the back so you can kind of see it see it there the exhaust right through there. Sometimes that can get a little little gunky around where the fans are at, but this one looks pretty clean. So that's it. That's just a quick way to take the dust off your laptop. And uh, I do notice a difference when I do that, that it does seem to run a little bit cooler. Uh, and that's it. Uh, this one's kind of tricky because it literally just pops on there. It makes it seem like you're going to break it every time. everything back together turn it on uh, I usually check the temperature too. use like some type of temperature monitor see see what kind of temperature you you get that's it pretty simple if you have any comments questions leave them below hopefully constructive comments my last video did not do very well with the comment section usually nobody comments on my videos uh, so that's it have a good rest of the weekend day whatever it is out there and I'll see you guys next time